We continue following developing news this midday involving a body found in the Wabash River. The Vigo County Sheriff's Department is taking the next steps in solving what they're calling a homicide case. A body was found in the Wabash River late Sunday night. News since Brittany Earl continues to dig deeper into the story for us. So Brittany, what can you share with us this midday? Rondrell, here's the thing. They started about a little over an hour ago. They came here at Fairbanks Park, and Vigo County Sheriff's Department and the DNR took their boat to this landing here into the water here behind me. And I can actually see them coming back right now. They're wrapping up as it's happening. But they took to the water to comb through the Wabash River to see if they can find any material, any details that could help them solve this homicide case. Now, later today, they plan on making a ground search. Now, earlier, I did speak with Chief Deputy Clark Cottom this morning, and he told me that while the search is routine, he told me he and his officers are always hopeful to find some sort of evidence. They don't want to miss anything since the body was recovered at night. Now, I am standing along the Wabash River, and to my left here, the officers are just pulling up, wrapping their case here, but they just want to make sure if they've missed anything. Now, while we are at Fairbanks Park, they just came from a location where the body was actually recovered. That's farther south, down by I-70. Now, when I spoke with Cottom earlier, he told me that it's very crucial that they have the public's help in solving this case. I need the public's help in this particular case. Uh, the individual uh, had a very serious fracture at one time in his life to his right femur. And that should stand out in somebody's mind. Uh, if you know of somebody that might be missing and uh, they've had a, a very serious leg fracture at one time, but in the last five to seven years, we need p folks to call in. Now, a quick, quick recap for everyone. The body is that of a white male between the ages of 35 and 55. He's around 5 foot 7. Now, investigators say, again, he had a very distinctive injury. And we are talking about that femur break that was to his right leg, that about a 5 to 7-year-old injury. Now, here's another interesting note. Cottom told us that their next step is to go check out local bone doctors and jog their memories to see if they have any information about patients in the past that would match this description. Now, the police actually have an x-ray of that broken femur to hope match it to anyone that may fit that description. Now, if you have any inf information that could help with this case, you should call Crime Stoppers at 238-STOP. Reporting live in Vigo County, I'm Brittany Earle, News 10. Rondrell, back to you.